What is going on everybody? Joe here, back with a quick video. Let's talk niche. So, about a month ago, Byron Parfums released two fr new fragrances, Oud Bourbon and The Chronic this year in 2019 and I was kind of debating on how I wanted to address this video because I didn't want to do the exact same duo review but you kind of have to since they were released together but I didn't want to make this as formal of a review so I'm just kind of going to give my thoughts about each one make it a little shoot style type of thing so I wasn't paid to promote this, but their service was really good. Crystalfragrances.com. I'll leave a link down below for her Instagram and her actual website. But they actually do decants and sell decants of Byron Parfums and a whole bunch of other niche fragrances, Montals and different ones. And when I found out that these were releasing exclusively to them in Door Parfums, I believe that's how you say their name, had me interested. Heard great things about Crystal Fragrances, so I decided to give them a try and their service was great. First, Oud Bourbon. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of ouds. I respect them. I prefer the lighter type of ouds, like oud wood, aqua de palma oud. I wouldn't even count Creed's Royal oud, but Creed's Royal oud. And actually this. I am a fan of this. This is a oud in my opinion. If you don't like oudy, animalic ouds, this one could fit your alley, it does have musk and obviously oud, it's called oud bourbon, but it does, it has, it starts off, you get like this hit of like freshness and a little bit of vanilla sandalwood combination. The freshness is coming from neroli and I know uh, some of you don't like neroli, but it's there, it's in fragrances. But it's not extremely prominent. You can notice it, but it's not prominent. It gets masked a lot by the violet and saffron that also come in after maybe about five to ten minutes. So you get violet, saffron, neroli, a little bit of jasmine in there. But the vanilla, sandalwood, oud, and musk are really the main players to kind of give off this like bourbony casket type of vibe and it's a solid fragrance it does last about four four and a half maybe five hours at the most on me with a moderate foot and a half projection in the first hour then it kind of sits a little closer but not so close that it doesn't have any type of sillage it does remain with a decent sillage for the final three hours or four hours, just depending on if you're with your skin that you get it to last up to that five hour mark like, like me. Um, definitely a great work scent. This is definitely more of a staple for the fall and winter time. You could get away with it in the spring, but me personally, this is much more of a fall and winter, 24 and up, date, work, not so much casual, but you could wear it on a night out, maybe garner some attention. I wore it on a night out and I really didn't get much attention at a bar. However, when I did wear it at work, it did gain a couple of compliments where people did say I smell good. 
but those people were over the age of 25, just in case that's something you wanted to know. Up next, let's talk about the Chronic. I was really intrigued by this fragrance because it's supposed to be the Chronic, right? But of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and just say this, just in case you haven't seen one of the other reviews. No, there is no weed in here or THC or cannabis. There's none of that in this fragrance. You're gonna get patchouli, amber, pepper, sandalwood, a little bit of vanilla, some, some leather. Oh, I'm sorry. This also had a little bit of cinnamon in it too. Not a, not a bunch, but this did have a little bit of cinnamon. This is a solid spring and summer fragrance in my opinion, but I wanted it to be a little more. I mean, Mula Mula was such a powerhouse, just, you know, completely punched you right there. It had the potency, but it was just a little too potent with the sweetness. Now this dialed it back and then it's like, I kind of wanted a little bit more. Still a very good fragrance. Really, really good fragrance. But I just wanted a little more in my own personal opinion. And I guess because of the use of the sandalwood musk combination in both fragrances, they kind of end up crossing at a certain point and kind of almost being like a similar fragrance. They are different, but there are similarities. And it, it has a sense of the DNA, right, for Byron Parfums. Now that I've gotten my nose on a couple of these, I'm starting to see a little bit of the DNA that they have to go with it. It's a great, great house. You know, I do like their fragrances, but in this case, you all know me. I prefer my powerhouse punching fragrances. This fragrance, I only got four hours performance out of it. It definitely was on the lighter side if it's catering to a spring and summer night. Maybe for, you know, warmer fall, you could get away with, in my opinion. But projection, how the other one had at least a two foot bubble, then kind of brought it in to about the one foot radius. This has that one foot radius going in for me. It really didn't jump off my skin. And it smelled pleasant, but it was never attention grabbing in the circle of people that I was around. I will say this definitely fit more of the younger profile because the two people that did compliment me when I was out and about were younger. They were like 21, 22. And then the other one was 24. Um, I would say where you could wear this one casually. You could wear this one. I guess you could wear this one on a date and feel safe enough, but kind of be different from your savages. Blue, this, you know, all that type of one million ultra stuff going on. This definitely is a nice refreshing twist and, you know, different type of fragrance, but at the same time, it just lacks the power to really overtake some of those scents. So if somebody's wearing one of those other scents and then you come in with this, you're probably gonna get overpowered and overshadowed because I was. Have you all tried any of the Byron Parfum fragrances? Let me know. Leave comments down below. Tell me what your thoughts are on these. Me personally, I believe they go, I paid, I believe like $20 for this fragrance. 
for this one. And I got this one included in my uh, purchase because she gives samples in your purchase. It's not bad pricing, especially considering you're getting quality juice and you're getting something different from all these blue fragrances. So that's just kind of where you would have to wage and gauge. I'll have to spend a little more time with these just as far as if I really want to make the purchase. I would say to you all, spend some time with them to see if you would like to make the purchase. I like the fragrances. I just need a little bit more time with them. So there are my thoughts. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one.